Jiu-Jitsu athletes. In this video, I'm gonna expose the truth behind Gordon Ryan's secret training method that he's been using for years to dominate over the world of Jiu-Jitsu. I'm gonna show you how you can use Gordon Ryan's secret method to build muscle way faster and decrease your risk of injury on the mat. If you wanna gain an edge over your opponents so you can ultimately win more matches and get injured less, you need to know about the secret training method that Gordon Ryan has used to help his Jiu-Jitsu game. What's going on guys? My name is Josh Setledge and I am the BJJ Strength Coach. And in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down Gordon Ryan's secret training method that he's used for years now to develop greater muscle mass and help decrease his risk of injury in competition. And this method is called the repetition effort method. The repetition effort method is part of the conjugate system. The conjugate system is a system of athletic training that was originally developed by the Olympic strength coaches of the Soviet Union. And it was further developed and popularized in the United States by Louis Simmons of Westside Barbell. The conjugate system as a whole features three primary methods to enhance athletic performance. The max effort method, the dynamic effort method, and the repetition effort method. The repetition effort method focuses on using submaximal loads for lots of sets and reps to develop muscle mass, address muscular imbalances or weaknesses, and improve your general physical preparedness. As a jiu-jitsu athlete, improving muscle quality is essential to developing strength and decreasing your risk of injury on the mat. Remember, Remember, a bigger muscle has a greater potential to develop strength. When your muscle quality improves via the repetition effort method, not only are you able to expand the foundation on which you can develop strength for jujitsu, but your muscles, ligaments, and tendons all become more resilient and less likely to get injured on the mat. And this is a huge reason why Gordon Ryan has used this method for years to help improve his overall jujitsu performance. In an interview with Lex Friedman, Gordon Ryan spoke about his strength and conditioning training and explained how his training resembles what would typically look like bodybuilding training. Gordon, as somebody who uh, on Instagram posts a lot of pictures of you being shredded and huge, uh, what's the value of, uh, of strength? I do a lot of bodybuilding workouts, basic split, like a uh, chest and triceps, back and biceps day. I train jiu-jitsu every day, and I lift three to four times a week. I generally don't go super heavy when I lift. I usually do moderate weights with a, with a very high rep, rep range, like four sets of 20 with a drop set at the end to fatigue the muscles. The high rep sets with minimal rest that Gordon talks about is a crucial component to repetition effort training. This method can be very effective in stimulating muscle growth and can be very useful for jujitsu athletes. The repetition effort method can be broken down into upper body sessions and lower body sessions. These sessions will often follow your max effort Effort and your dynamic effort training. When using the repetition effort method, select two to four exercises that focus on building up weaknesses or addressing muscular imbalances. The exact sets and reps that you use for the repetition effort method will vary depending on what your current training goals are and how close you are to jujitsu competition. As a beginner looking to use the repetition effort method, here's a sample template that you could use. To focus on hypertrophy or building a bigger muscle, perform sets in the eight to 12 rep range. To focus more on increasing blood flow and joint restoration, perform sets in the 15 to 25 rep range. And to focus more on increasing your general physical preparedness and your conditioning, perform sets in the 25 to 50 rep range. Some of my favorite exercises to use for the repetition effort method, the cable face pull, the banded leg curl, the rope curl, and the back extension. Don't use the repetition effort method before you hear about these two rules. These two rules are gonna make sure that you're using the repetition effort method correctly and are gonna allow you to have much more effective training sessions. Rule number one, stimulate, don't annihilate. The repetition effort method should consist of exercises that address weak points and muscular imbalances, but should not cause pain or completely exhaust you for your upcoming jujitsu training sessions. If you're a jujitsu athlete, it's no secret that you're gonna have your fair share of aches and pains. The repetition effort method is where you can focus on increasing blood flow and restoration in those tissues that have been taken a beating during training. Remember, always leave the gym feeling better than when you walked in. Rule number two, get creative and have fun. The repetition effort method is arguably one of the most fun training methods to use because you're essentially just trying to get jacked. My good friend and mentor Mark Bell is a huge proponent of the conjugate system and according to Mark Bell, the repetition effort method is one of the secrets to becoming jacked and tan. Following your max effort training and your dynamic effort 
effort training, select two to four exercises that are gonna address some weaknesses, help you pack on a little bit more muscle, and give you a crazy pump. Stop, before you run off and start using the repetition effort method, it's very important that you also learn about the other two training methods within the conjugate system, and to learn more about those, you can click right here.